is a green card? And why is this in football? Is it possible that one simple colour creates the greatest division in our beloved sport? Well, you're about to find out. As a fan of the beautiful game, the red and yellow card should be quite common to you. You see a yellow card in almost every game nowadays. The red card, on the other hand, is quite rare. Except if you're Sergio Ramos, of course. But have you ever seen a green card? Probably not, but it might shock you to know that there has been a long-standing debate about whether or not a green card should be added to the official rulebook. We will explain, but I have to say the arguments on both sides might leave you a little confused. On one side of the debate are the people who think the green card should be used to punish bad behaviour during the game. You may be asking, isn't that what the red card is for? Well, yes, but there is a slight variation to this punishment that we will get to very soon. The other side thinks green cards should be used to reward good behaviour. But how will this be implemented? And what will the incentive for anyone to even want a green card be? Well, believe it or not, this has actually happened before. Back in 2016, in the Italian Serie B, Cristian Galano, an Italian forward who played for Vicenza, was shown a green card as a reward. Why? Well, the referee had given his team a corner kick that they didn't deserve. Galano came clean to the referee, telling him the corner kick was undeserved because the ball actually hit one of Vicenza's players before going out. The referee then changed his decision from a corner kick to a goal kick, and that's when he gave Galano his green card as a reward. But that's not the only time. It also happened during the Conifa World Football Cup. But here, the story is quite different. You see, during the 2018 Conifa World Football Cup, the green card was used as a punishment for players who showed disrespect to the officials. It was used for offences that were disrespectful, but not serious enough to warrant a red card. A player who's shown the green card is sent off, but not for the entirety of the game. They are still allowed to sit on the bench and watch the game, and they can be replaced by another player, as long as the team hasn't used up all of their substitutions. Another difference is that the player who gets a green card isn't suspended for future games. Oh, and just in case you are wondering, CONIFA stands for the Confederation of Independent Football Associations. It's a confederation for all teams not affiliated with FIFA. The Irish Football League also has its own rules for the green card, but they're more on the positive side of things. You see, they intend to use it as a way to promote fair play in the game, but they've added another twist to it. They want green cards to contribute to the promotion of local teams from lower leagues to the highest. And so, in this case, instead of giving the card to individual players, the card is given to the whole team as a reward for fair play. But how does the league define what fair play is? Are the players supposed to hug each other and make each other a cup of hot chocolate after the game? Well, to avoid this confusion, they decided to make a list of seven criteria that define fair play. 1. Line up and shake hands before each game with the opposing team and game officials. 2. No foul or abusive language should be used during the game by either players or coaches. 3. No over-aggressive plays during the game. 4. No fighting whether it's with teammates or opposing players. Five, if a foul is committed, both players involved must shake hands before play restarts. Six, respect has to be shown to game officials, other players and coaches at all times. Seven, line up and shake hands after each game with the opposing team and game officials. Any team that checks all of these boxes during a game will get a green card. If a team fails to get a green card during the season, they won't make it to the next Football Cup. But how do you feel about the green card? Do you prefer a game where players are forced to be less tough on each other in the name of fair play? Do you think the green card would take out some of the excitement of football caused by the disrespect and fierce rivalry among players? Or do you believe fair play should come first? Let us know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Skiller Originals if you too love football and watch our latest video on screen. You'll be surprised, trust me.